In previous tutorials, we have created some animations that can be seamlessly looped. We have received several questions on how to join the clip together to make a longer clip. In this Blender tutorial, we will look at the options to join loopable animation clips together to make a longer animation. Other Blender 3D tutorials are available in our playlists. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will use this rainbow tunnel animation. A link is below for a tutorial on how to create this animation. From the window splash screen, click on the video editing workspace. From the video editing workspace, you can create movie files from other movie, image and sound files. This tutorial will explain some basics around the video editor, but it is not a detailed tutorial on the video editor. Clips can be added to the editor using a few methods. The easiest is to just drag and drop the clip into the editor. Clips can also be added by clicking on the Add menu and selecting the type of clip you want to add. Then navigating to where the file is located. Blender has color codes for different types of clips. When adding movie clips, there also may be a green sound clip. The default increments in the timeline of the video editor is seconds and minutes. The start and end of the animation is the number of frames. The clip I am using is 100 frames long and does not have sound. The default shortcut keys in Blender are standard throughout Blender. To duplicate the movie strip, make sure the clip is selected. Then hold the shift key and press the D key. Left mouse click and drag the duplicate strip across to the right. The new strip will have a red outline when it overlaps the previous strip. If you release the mouse button the strip will snap into place. Press the A key to select all clips. The clips can then be duplicated again by holding the shift key and then pressing the D key. Repeat the process to make the animation length you want. The end frame is then adjusted to the length of the animation. The frame rate will default to the frame rate of the movie clip. This can be adjusted, but for the best results using an image strip is better, if a different frame rate is needed. We will look at using image strips shortly. As normal when rendering select the output location. The FFmpeg file format. The encoder type and quality. Then select render animation from the render menu. The next option is to render the animation into a series of image files. This option is recommended for longer animations or where higher resolutions are needed which will take longer to render. This will produce a series of image files which can then be combined to make a movie file. The video editing workspace can also be accessed within Blender. Click on the plus button from the workspace bar. Then select Video Editing. 
The images can then be added to the video editor by drag and drop. Or by clicking on the add menu, then selecting image sequence. Navigate to where the images are saved. Then select all the images in the animation. The image strips can then be selected and duplicated to make a longer animation. The animation length is then adjusted. and the output settings selected as needed. If you found this tutorial useful click the like button and subscribe for further tutorials.